So hey guys, this is Vishwit and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I am going to talk about the OS module in Python. So I have already spoken about I think two functionalities of the OS module. So the OS module is really something powerful and you should consider using it in your programs. Uh, so in this video, I am going to talk about the OS module using which you will be able to create directories that is nothing but folders in Python. So for example, uh, if you have to, if you need, require to create any folder to save some files from your program, you can use the OS module functionality. Uh, generally, these things are uh, pretty simple, but when you are working in, like when you are programming, when you are building something and you want to save that into some directory and the directory is not present, you are supposed to create a directory. So here the OS modules comes into picture and we use it a lot like I use it a lot for my purpose so for example if I want to create a directory this is my current working directory I have spoken about this for example if I want to check I can use pwd and I can get the current working directory which is this one and, uh, this is not related to OS model this is a terminal command okay and I will import my OS module and if I want to create any folder, so it is very easy. We do OS, OS dot make dir and I can just write this OS dot make, uh, OS dot make directory new folder and it created new folder. Okay. And for example, if you want to save something, over here inside this new folder you can do that from your program like in machine learning generally we create models and we need to save those models and for that we need to save them into proper directory structure and we use this make directory uh, to create the directory and to save them so we don't have to do it from our end the program is going to create the directory save the model then and there by itself so this is a really useful tool you should learn and I think uh, you, you're going to use it a lot if you if you know uh, how to work with these things. So now you are able to create folders over here. Okay, so these things are pretty simple, but I have spoken about OS modules in the past videos. So now it was, you can combine them to work on something. For example, if you want to check and uh, if you want to check the number of files that are present inside uh, a new folder okay so what what we do os dot list dir then you pass new folder right and it, it is giving none that means there is nothing right so if you want to create something inside this new folder if i want to create a, another folder inside this new folder so we need to get the path so for to get the path we do os dot path dot join and we uh, we give this new folder and the another folder that you want to create for example inside new folder i'm going to create uh maybe uh cities okay so this is the path that i have okay so let me give this a variable name path is this and if i put in this we are going to get the same thing so now what i'm going to do is dot make dir and just pass this path boom so inside new folder we are supposed to have uh, cities so how we can verify that we just execute this once more let me copy and paste it over here once more and cities is there right pretty pretty simple so these things are really simple but once you learn once you learn them like you can use this to do a lot of the stuff so you can see is a list directory and you are able to see the cities that are present over here so if i cross verify with the interface like this is my explorer if i go into new folder cities and you can see we have the cities directory over here 
now you can copy the files using the uh, import this library i am really forgetting the name uh, shut l you can copy the files from some folder from source over here to this folder over here right pretty pretty simple right we can do that and if you don't know just watch my previous videos and you will be able to do it so i hope you are able to understand the uh, make directories in the upcoming videos i am going to show you how to remove that particular directory that is also pretty pretty simple so that's it for this video if you like this video just give a like and if you have any kind of suggestion or comments do paste them in the comment section below and thank you for watching and i am going to see you in the upcoming videos